Now, the San Francisco earthquake, Hurricane Katrina, the COVID-19 pandemic, all three caused or are still causing death, widespread loss, major disruption to family life. But as News for Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno explains, there are some things that parents can do to minimize the impact on kids. For Anthony and Petra Salas, reading, math, and sign language class are happening at home. They're missing friends, summer camps, and for Anthony, a long-awaited fifth grade graduation. I've tried to give them permission to just cry and be upset because this is not a fun time. Jessica Dim Bartlett is a developmental scientist studying childhood resilience during natural disasters. Be looking out for uh, times where there's much more anger or clinginess or uh, acting out. Social scientists have studied the effects of natural disasters on children and can apply some of the lessons learned about resilience to the current pandemic. Adults can reassure children about their safety and the safety of loved ones and tell them that it's an adult's job to ensure their safety. Bartlett says that natural disasters or a public health crisis like COVID-19 will cause some kids to worry about their own safety and the safety of their loved ones. And many behave differently in reaction to strong feelings like fear, worry, sadness and anger. Bartlett suggests parents think of the three R's, reassurance, routines and regulation. For regulation, parents can guide kids through mindfulness activities. Cynthia Solis posts their daily routine. Time assigned for chores, homework, and educational activities. Yeah, we just did a lot of Legos and we baked a lot of things. And every afternoon, time to play and be kids, like this shaving cream battle to blow up some steam. I understand that this isn't going to be um, certainly the highlight of their childhood, but I hope that it's something that they can look back on fondly um, with, you know, some fun things. I'm Lauren Verno, Channel 4, the local station. It is hard right now, no doubt. Experts suggest that even short periods of quality time can really bolster a child's sense of safety and security during these scary times. Also, consider setting up regular times for the kids to talk with their grandparents who they may not have been able to see for the last several weeks.